Do you know why? No, I can't grenades say I do. Are, grenades are completely ineffective. Oh, he can absorb them. Right? Yeah, it's absolutely grenades are completely ineffective, and if he's a, if he does you if he knows how to if you short hop approach with down B, there's almost it completely negates the fact that he has grenades like when he's shielding. So. Right. But Keith knows this matchup. He also has a great wolf counter pick. So, so. something that oh, oh that air dodge. My. He was so scared. No, I, I feel like it was a, a flubbed attempt to get to the ledge. I don't think it was a, a, a fear thing. Um, but one thing that I know caught me off guard a lot was that when Ness uses PK Fire, he actually pulls his hurt box back pretty significantly. So like yeah. you can you can guess that he's going to PK Fire, but if you uh, if you don't go deep enough, it'll actually you'll, your punish will actually just whiff. And then you'll get PK fired for it. And then suddenly you're taking like 40 damage. There we go. Oh, the, oh now we now we got some follow-ups. Yeah. Yeah, the approach so, is quite good. So I wonder if the, does the thunder projectile break uh, cipher armor as well? Because if it I does, if it does, it's pretty it's pretty significant. Oh, that up tilt gonna take it. Okay, it's so. Gonna take it. Oh, PK fire, PK fire. Oh. Yeah. So he's gonna get he's gonna get out. Yeah. You can't really get more than one. I don't think. Provided you're like doing stuff to get out. Something I know Snake can do is uh, Snake has has a great ways to punish to punish Ness's recovery because like if he's able to get a good read on on a Ness's recovery, he's able to use the down air or the neutral air as long lasting hitboxes to punish the air dodge or the double jump back up. Mm -hmm. Back quite not gonna not quite gonna take it. It's gonna go high, oh. but that's gonna kill him, right? Him. So it looked like he let go right at the top there. I'm not sure if he did or not. Uh, if he didn't let go and it just broke his armor and, and killed him, then that's that's huge. Shades of Winter's Finals last week, eh, Tom? Uh, when he killed you off the side with the PK. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried to beat him with an aerial. Yeah. Uh, He's going for that up tilt. Uh, I see. I think that Keith in his head is thinking already, like, okay, I got one. This next one's going to be pretty easy. I like to see Squidward going for these little magna, magna cancel things. I think I think that's like the coolest part of Ness personally. Yeah, and they're not actually that hard. I put like a little teeny bit of time into Ness, and it's quite easy to do the the short hop magna cancels, bear the magna cancels in the down air and stuff like that. It and then up air the almost there. took it. He's going for the wow 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 wow. wow. The top. Yeah, you you, you you have to like being above Ness. It's just so scary in this game. Arguably scarier, like much scarier than what wasn't for. Despite, like some people have talked about how, like some have said his up air is worse. Um, I don't know about it being worse, but I know between like it's still very good and PK Thunder is oh absolutely way better. So, the ability to chase someone off the top of that thing. That was two deaths to that. Mm -hmm. the thing I'll say about Evans Evans play, it's not pretty quite jagged and it's it's rough but it's definitely very effective um he may not know the optimal follow-ups to do like he may not get much percent off for opening but he is going to be the player to get a lot of openings against you so so he is going wolf uh yeah interesting to see like this is something like i've played a bit of wolf recently so i'm i was curious i'm curious to see how this goes according to um, yozora like who's our who's probably the best nest main in nb um, took games off Animal, uh, not Animal. He took, yeah, he took a game off Animal, but he thinks that this matchup is one of Ness's most difficult. Interesting. So, this is the actual original reason that Keith picked up the character, because he lost to a, he lost, to, he lost the game to a Ness main at a local Friday Weekly once when he came up. So. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Um, I, I, I have to like guess that the range definitely, uh, the range that Wolf has is definitely good for fighting against Ness. But so and these are the kinds of situations that I'm talking about. Like if you just if you just try and approach Ness in a very predictable way and just land somewhere that uh, he, that Squidward can easily guess, you're just gonna get PK fired for it. And it's even worse. Oh, I was worried that he's gonna die there. Oh, that hit the ledge. Okay. <laughs> the way he plays is actually just so disgusting. Like, <laughs> like it just like it's not pretty. Like it doesn't should work, and it just I does. Mean, it does. <laughs> I don't care about pretty if it wins games. Oh, 100%. Like, he went on stage with that air dodge. Just like, he 
plays, I think he really does play off the fact that people are really afraid of playing against him. Like, they don't realize that, like, he has a lot of missed inputs and a lot of tech clubs, and he does a lot of things he doesn't want. Like, I, I feel like if Keith let that go a little bit earlier there, he would have caught him with that down smash. Yeah. But. Keith's like, going to respect his recovery, but, like, when he, he could just run off with that nair like he was against Animal. Like, Evan doesn't really know how to perfectly get to ledge properly, and and it could be being punished. It's just like people give him a lot of respect. Oh, that gonna take it. That gonna uh, take it. I, I what I was gonna say earlier is that I felt like Keith wasn't giving him enough um, because like when he approached earlier and got like PK fired, right? Like you you have to respect Ness's options to punish approaches like like here again, right? Yeah. Uh, you you have to approach with the with the intention of baiting out that 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 side B and and then punishing after it's happened, not to actually just like. Clip him in neutral. Oh, there's a nice parry, but the multi hit's gonna catch him. For sure. Yeah, you, you might be right. I think it's like. So you I gotta, think the, the, the right place is to run in. Run in and jump. You just jump. That's that's what he should. You should be doing more of that. Like yeah, you could be approaching with that nair, or that forward air, or like with aerials, as opposed to and get, getting those cross up aerials on shield because Ness, he's just gonna grab. It's Evan. Like we all know what he's gonna do. It's Squidward. He's gonna shield grab. He does it every time. But if you get those cross up aerials on his shield, and we're well, he's not, he's not, he's not like shielding that much though. Yeah, but he's when you do come in with those, when he is coming with those aerials. See that shield right there? He's able to get a grab. Like when you do come, when you do pressure him, he does shield, and he looks for those shield grabs. That's like that's quintessential Squidward, constantly get, getting those shield grabs. That might take it. Not quite. Oh, very close though. So there, he needed to run off Nair to punish that, I yeah. think. Uh, Absolutely. he's gonna go for a little behind. I feel like th that was a little bit greedy. Uh, this behind might grab be might take it. Not quite again. Still not. Want stadium too. It might, might have still been stale as well. Just gonna stay I on stage. I, I don't like this. I don't think I, he should In that it. situation, I don't think he could have gone out there. I think it would have been bad. Mm -hmm. But like, are you sure he couldn't like go down and then rise back up with a nail? Uh, if he's confident in the ability to punish air dodge the ledge. That could have been a down smash. He, re he came from the ledge with an aerial, right? You know, like he upbeat towards ledge. Wolf could have definitely down smashed that. Evan gonna go for the BM taunt and he's gonna die for it. Yeah, he yep. should die at the top, yeah. I love Evan, the person who got me into Smash Bros, but like, I find just like the way he plays is just quite, quite a bit linear and has a lot of holes. I don't know, it wins games. It does. <laughs> like I said, it I, uh, I, 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 Accepted the fact that, like, you know, if if a, if a play style is gonna win games, then uh, there's nothing really, nothing else you can really, you know, un unless there's a very like a we can identify situations that Keith is missing out on, like these edge guards that you're mentioning. Like, I do think he probably does need to do more. There was a situation earlier. I didn't think there was anything he could have done, but. Um, okay, well, there's just a few things that I'll point out. It's just like, so far, all, the only way I've seen Keith approach is by this the, the linear mix-up of dash attack and, and neutral, and like, dash grab. I'd mm -hmm. love to see him approach with aerials, like you said, more often. Like, not approach with dash attack, like, <laughs> and dash grab, but can both be beat by TK fire, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think it's just more of a baiting thing, right? Like, like I said, like, let the PK fire happen. Like, aim, aim, your goal should be to like have uh, like in a situation like that if he approached with a jump and just like even if he didn't pk fire just like double jump it and bail out oh that's gonna take it wow so that's that's uh so i think that's cool. one of the best edge guarding tools in the game online specifically because reacting to where it sends you is so